Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So, if I was given this expression, the square root of 18 a squared times 4 square root of 3 a squared. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to combine this to be one big square root. The 4 still comes out front, so a 4 here. And the square root here, since it's still be multiplied, we can do that. We have 18 times a 3. I'm going to put the numbers together times a squared times a squared. Okay? Well, let's go break some things down. 18 is the same thing as uh, 3 times 6, so it's 6 times 3 here. And 6 is uh, 2 times 3. All right. So now <clears throat> what we can do is uh, we circle our pairs. Now, normally I'd break down a squared, and you can if you really want to, but I'm going to do something a little different this time. So we circle our pairs. I have a pair of 3s right here. And that's it. And I have a pair of a squares right there. A pair of a squares. So we bring our pairs and put them on the outside. We have four. Let's just say there times the three, that pair, times my pair of a squares. What's left then is just the singles of two times the three inside the square root of two times three. So now I simplify this. Four times three becomes a twelve. A squared is just right there. Then two times three is six. And so my final answer is just twelve times a squared times the square root of 6. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 18 times a squared times 4 times the square root of 3a squared. We combine this to be one big square root. We put the 4 on the outside here. Okay. So 4 times the square root of 18 times 3 times a squared times a squared. Well, I, so I broke down 18 to be 2 times 3 times 3, and we circled our pairs. I had a pair of 3s right there and a pair of a squareds right there. So, our pairs are, uh, are represented, represented as singles on the outside, so we have 4 times 3 times a squared, times the square root of all singles that were left, 2 and the 3 on the inside of the square root. We simplified that to get our final answer here of just 12 times a squared times the square root of 6.